Hi, this is your instructor Yüksel Günal. In this lecture, we're going to work on an application end-to-end. -end. We're going to build an application that actually does something useful. And the task of this ap application is to calculate the monthly payment for a, a mortgage loan. In particular, we're going to calculate the mo monthly payment for a home loan. And the goals of this lecture are uh, to show the student how to add an icon for the Android app. And what I mean with, with this is that rather than having the an, having Android Studio created or use the default icon in your app, we're going to add an icon like this one. I downloaded this from, from the web. It's just for course use. Of course, if you cannot use it professionally. Um, and I'll show you how you can add it so that your application shows up with an icon. And typically, a professional application, as you know, has an icon associated with it. How to build multiple activities. We have done this before. We have uh, created two activities. In this one, we're going to create three activities, and I'll show you how that works. Um, how to return a response from an activity back to the previous activity. Uh, we haven't covered this in the, uh, in the lecture that, that I showed you how to create a new activity from, uh, uh, from the main activity. In this lecture, we're going to cover that. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can use a, a text field which will only allow numbers. And I'm going to show you uh, how to use a text field which will only allow an email. And we're going to see how to read off a number from a text field. And we're going to see how to display a, a decimal number with some particular formatting. And perhaps the biggest, one of the biggest um, uh, features I'm going to show today is how to email from within an Android application. In other words, your mortgage application uh, will allow the user to send an email with some specific information in it. The application will calculate the monthly payment, total payments, and total interest payments for a loan. Now, let me just give you a quick demo of the application. Let's bring it. Uh, okay, let's bring the application to the uh, foreground. Uh, this is the application. Just double click on it. Now, the application will come up with this uh, main view. Don't worry about the, uh, the layout irregularity. You see that they are not lining up. We're, we're going to fix those later. Let's just focus on functionality. Now, what this application does is to get the, uh, the value of the home, let's say this is in Turkish liras or dollars, whatever, I didn't specify anything. But of course, if you want to convert this to a professional application and put it on the market, you have to be more specific. You have to add more to it. It's not in a shape to be uh, made available in the Android market, but this, uh, it, it works end to end. Um, the home value, then you the user will be allowed to put in the down payment, then the interest rate, the annual interest rate, and the term of the loan in number of years in years. And when the application comes up, it it comes up with some default values, like two hundred thousand for the home value. Down payment 40,000, interest rate 6%, uh, long term 30 years. This is typical for the US. The average home price is $200,000, etc. Uh, the uh, down payment is 20% of the home value. Interest rate more or less 6%. Long term could be up to 30 years. So uh, that's why I chose these defaults. This is a typical home mortgage. Now, of course, you can change, the user can change those, let's say, can reduce the uh, interest rates reduce the long term, increase the years. But I cannot type in, you don't see it, but I'm trying to push the letter A, S, D, etc. It does not allow me. It's, the reason is that I define this field to be a number field only. So the user cannot type anything other than a number. So down payment, I'll change it to 60,000. So these are my numbers. And if I click the calculate button, it's going to calculate the mortgage. Now, I, in the lecture notes, I gave you the formula to calculate those. So I'm gonna, not going to show it here. It's not that important for the sake of Android programming. Let's just click Calculate. And then a second activity will start. The second activity will show the mortgage payment summary, repayment summary, monthly payment, $1,775.25, total pay, uh, payment. Now, uh, see, this looks really ugly. Uh, I left this. Uh, intentionally, I'd, I'd like you to fix it when you run this application. I'm going to give you the source code. You'll import it to your Android Studio, 
and you're going to fix it. That, fix it. That's going to be part of your homework. Uh, and in the lecture note and in the code, I show how you can do that because this is how I want you to fix those two fields, uh, just two decimal points. But again, total payment is calculated. Uh, total interest payment is calculated. Um, we can. I think there's a problem with the total payment. Um, I need to fix it. Uh, we're going to fix it. But um, if you say recalculate, we can go back to the default. Um, sorry, to the last uh, val set of values we entered. Let's go back to this. Let's click calculate. Now we have a different set of numbers. Now. Once you have this, uh, uh, this set of numbers, you can email it to somebody you know, to, to yourself or somebody you know. And in order to, to do that, you'll click on the email button. And it's going to come up with a default subject uh, line, mortgage repayment info. And then you'll type in the email address of the person you want to send this to. Just type in my Gmail address. Now, there are two things I can I can send it, and when I click the send button, see something has changed. Uh, the application brought up the email client that I'm using in this uh, uh, virtual device. Now, this does not show up by default in your virtual device when you run this application. You first need to uh, configure your uh, email client, just like you configure your. Uh, email client in a real device. You need to configure your email client so that you can use the virtual device device's email feature. See what happened. I clicked uh, I clicked the send button from my application. My application opened an external application, an external Android application, which is email, which is the email client in this case. Uh, this is very different than as you see uh, my application look and feel colors etc. But what my application did was to fill in the uh, email address of the sender, uh, to fill in the email address of the recipient. I, I gave the same email address. It filled in the default subject line, and it filled in the uh, uh, email body. Uh, these are all calculated uh, within the application, and uh, the emails body was populated automatically, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's in the lecture notes, and we'll go over the co source code as well. Now you click this button. It says sending message. This comes from the Android and uh, client, and this I generated. See, there was a, a so-called toast. It said in an email was sent to uxl.final uh, at gmail.com. Now, let me show you something else. I click, click email, and let's say I decide not to. Uh, let me click cancel and see what happens. It says sending email was canceled. What happened was that the, the, the email screen sent back uh, some sort of indication to this activity, to the activity that, that it was generated from, and this activity took some action. So this is uh, what I meant by uh, returning a response from an activity back to the previous activity. Yeah, that's something I'm going to show you in this lecture. How to return a response from an activity back to the previous activity. Let me just repeat what I've done. So, email launches a new activity. I cancel it. When I cancel it, this activity that we see right now sends back a response, some sort of indicator to the activity that that uh, that launched it. Click cancel. And you see, sending email was canceled. So that's something I'm going to show. Let's say recalculate. Finally, we can click cancel. Then the application will be terminated. See, application is here. Do that back to the main screen. And that's the end of the demo.